Today I'm cooking Italian food with my mom. Okay, today we are making Italian pizzelle, which are a traditional thin Italian cookie. Um, you need a pizzelle machine. You need an Italian pizzelle machine um, to make the cookies. And then we've assembled our ingredients. The first thing you need to do is melt butter and let it cool. Now that the butter's cooled, we're gonna plug in our pizzelle machine and beat the eggs. Okay, so three eggs are going into the bowl. Yep. And then the, uh, the butter continues to cool and the pizzella machine is getting hot. Okay, so we have to whip them for at least three minutes. Okay, so now the eggs have been beating for a while. While you keep beating, you're gonna gradually add three quarters of a cup of sugar. eggs start to go a little bit paler, a little lighter, and then you add in a good heaping tablespoon of vanilla and continue to beat. Okay, so now slowly and gradually you're going to add in the butter. Two tablespoons of baking powder and yeah, I'll keep I'll keep mixing. I Actually, think... I think it has to be sifted. Am I right? Read the the baking powder. Yeah, it goes. Oh yeah, sifts. Yeah. Okay, so how much flour? Um, I don't know. One and three fourths cup. Is that what it says? So it says yeah, one and three quarters cup. So let's get just the sieve it. over top. Okay, so we'll just put just a bit more, like maybe a tea. Okay, so we're ready to continue. Clean hands. Um, drying rack ready. Pizzella machine should be really nice and hot. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I can feel that it's hot. Then just a little spray of Pam to get it started. Okay. Mm. All right, so now you plop the batter into the middle. You can hear it frying. How much batter? I don't know. I always just kind of use this spoon. Sometimes they're too big, sometimes they're too small. We will see how much oozes out. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's have a look. So they're still really pale. So we're gonna close the lid again and let them cook a little. Okay, longer. time to try it. Uh, I'm gonna eat this one. <laughs> After you let it cool for a while, it gets harder, so. Mm. Let me try it. Good, delicious. Yep, really, really good. Good work, Gab. Cheers, cooking Italian.